You say that with runes it is serious, once you enter runes, you must complete it and the door only swings open from the inside. What happens once you start runes? You cannot just stop until you are done. When are you done? Thanks. There is an algorithm in the form of the Futhark. And the Futhark follows the whole process from beginning to end, from the rune Fehu to the rune Dagas. But before you find the answer to your question, you need to ask yourself, what do you need runes for? If you just want to get to know the runes, you can start with any of them. You can simply draw and study any rune per day. If you want to study runic divination, you can study the runes in any order you like. For example, you could read the whole book and then study each rune individually. That's the second way. According to the methodology of our school, we study the runes as a tool for magical transformation, following a specific algorithm, from beginning to end, without interruption, we transfer our consciousness from one rune to another. In the process of magical transformation, the consciousness is transformed on the first rune and, already transformed, moves on to the second rune. On the second rune, the consciousness transformed on the first rune receives an additional transformation and, already transformed, moves on to the third rune. And so on and so on. This is a successive transformation of consciousness that uploads, cleans, reduces, adds certain mathematical models that modify the mind transform the personality that reaches the innermost part of one's being by the middle of the futhark and this innermost nature begins to grow a new personality new essence new flesh new worldview new consciousness and this process goes up to the rune daggers and so we gain a new level of rights and when we in the school set ourselves the task of runic transformation, we do it with a specific goal, we must transform the consciousness to the level, the status, the class of warrior, no matter what our previous level was. This is our task. However, runes can be used to solve any task. You just have to define it correctly. The algorithm of study, the algorithm of work, is always chosen for a specific task. We do not live for the sake of the tool. We know that Odin gave people runes to work with, so we work with them. And what your work is, only you can know. So I advise you, at the very beginning, before you begin to use and study this magical tool, to open your work diary and write down in beautiful, legible handwriting your goal, what you need the runes for. Honestly, openly, as it is, you do not need to show it to anyone. You will simply know your task for today and you will make an algorithm of work for this task. You will know what you need to study and in what order, how you need to live, what you need to eat, what you need to drink, well, in general, you will know everything that is necessary to fulfill this particular task that you have set for yourself. The task always comes first. Don't start studying without a clear understanding of the purpose, because you will be disappointed. If you choose the wrong algorithm, it will tear you apart and you will not understand why, because what you wanted was something completely different. So the first thing to do is to define your task honestly, that will be my answer to you, colleague.